Hi everyone, welcome to Michelin King. Today we're going to look at a wax called GD UK. In this video I'll show you the tips and tricks of how to get the best from the wax and how to get the best shine. So, let's start off with one of our new products called One. One is an all-in-one polish. Essentially what it does is it cleans, it polishes and it's also got some protection. So to use it, just give it a shake first and then spray some onto a cloth or applicator pad. Just applying straight lines, just in case you pick anything up on the paint, straight line. The scratches are much more difficult to see in the sunlight and they typically cause less damage. So there's a few ways you can use this. You can let it cure. If you let it cure, you'll have more filling agents and you'll have more protection. If you polish it straight off, it acts really just like a cleaning polish. It's safe on bright work, things like chrome, it's also very safe on your lenses. Uh, you'd be surprised at what it picks off the paint as well. So, that's essentially the paint ready. It's had a deep clean there. Ideally you also want to, prior to this, have cleared the paint. And the paint you would want, in an ideal situation, um, to be polished as well. But if you just want to try the wax or you're a bit pushed for time, simply just use the one, the all-in-one cleaner. So next up, we want to prepare the wax. I'll show you this in a minute. So what we're doing there is just um, putting about half on the pad. So as you can see there, it's about halfway. A couple of different ways of applying it. I tend to dab it over the paint so that I'm picking up new wax as I go. But you can just apply it as you would uh, normally. Just whatever technique you feel sort of works best for you really. One of the things that I don't maybe show in the videos enough is that even though if you apply it um, horizontally it's a good idea to do it vertically as well and that just means that you're less likely to miss any spots. It's really really easy to apply. Now for the purposes of this video we'll just be taking this wax off um, straight away. If we weren't making the video you would wait about three to four minutes to make sure that the, the wax is cured. Taking the wax off before it's cured impacts things like the shine, the longevity, so it is important that you let the wax cure, let the wax cure fully. So clean microfiber and just buff it off. That will leave us with a well protected surface. You can add a second layer to this, it will boost the gloss, it will boost the longevity as well. Um, so there are options that you've got. Once you get to the stage that the car's dirty again, there's a few things um, that are popular within our range that go well with this type of wax. Now it's quite a versatile wax, so it's one of the, the ones that actually matches the two of these products well. So first of all we've got Wax Plus. This is our ceramic silicon dioxide based product. So you get good longevity, you're looking about three to four months with this. And you also get a highly, highly reflective glass-like finish. Your other option is Glace 
So Glace is a Carnuba based spray. Um, it's quite different to anything that's out there because we have really concentrated on the Carnuba side of things to make sure that you keep that rich, warm glow which is so synonymous with Carnuba waxes. So these are your two options. You use these obviously after you've washed the car, dried it down and you can just top up. So just to give you an idea, we'll get another new cloth. Just give it a shake. Spray it on. And then just simply buff off. A bit of advice is don't let this product dry because it's a kind of a spray wax. Um, you want to just buff it off as it's wet. You'll actually feel the paint become more slick as well. Especially on your darker paints, the Kurnuba wax is a finish that's that's difficult to beat. So that's us topped it up with glaze, and obviously prior to that, we used GD UK. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this is helpful, and if you're looking to get hold of this, just visit MichelinKing.com or just simply Google Michelin King, and we'll come up. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye bye.